Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Marissa Yamane in for Mika Miyashima. It's fall, but it still feels like summer. It's still pretty hot out there. Yes, it is. Now, globally, last month was the hottest on record. KITV4 meteorologist Paul Drew shows us just how hot it was in Hawaii and when things are finally going to cool off. On a day like this, many may be sweating it out because of the hot temperatures. But at places like this, why Ola shave ice, as those temperatures climb, so does business. We just came from the beach and we just want to get something cold and, and refreshing. If it's hot, then shaved ice is always good to cool you down, but I like it for the flavor. <laughs> While the shop typically makes hundreds of shave ice treats daily during the week, that number can soar to over a thousand on the weekend, especially when it's hot. You know, these past couple of weeks have been like pretty hot and uh, yeah, whenever it like starts to rise, like we get a lot more customers like coming in. While Hawaii didn't set a record for September temperatures, it was warmer than normal in some spots, like Honolulu. Last month, 27 out of 30 days, temperatures were higher than the norm of 88 degrees. One of the reasons for the sweltering conditions is the ocean around the islands is slightly warmer than normal. This is the time, this is the, the time when ocean temperatures are the warmest, and that has an influence on our temperatures, and the trade winds start to break down uh, as well, so that that just adds to the, the perception of it feeling hotter than normal. When trades die down, not only are we without a breeze to cool us off, humidity levels also rise. All that moisture in the air makes it feel sticky and muggy. It's the uh, humidity. I think it, that's really bad. It's, I mean, it could be dry heat and it's, it seems cooler, but because Hawaii is so humid, it's really, it really makes it hotter will stay warm until cold fronts start reaching the islands. They bring in cooler air and stronger winds which can turn up the ocean and lower those above normal sea surface temperatures. The question many are asking is when that will happen. Hopefully November. Uh, th these kind of patterns when they develop tend to stick around for a while. It's, a, it's seasonal for us, so this is characteristic of late summer, early to mid fall. Uh, hopefully by the time we get into Late October, early November, we'll start to see some intrusion of cold fronts from further north, and that'll help cool us down and bring some more clouds and, and maybe a little bit better opportunities for rainfall. Paul Drews, KITV4 Island News.